What's up, uh, YouTube? It's Mr. Gene back at it with another video. Uh, this topic of this is gonna be my sneaker collection. Um, let me start by saying this probably gonna have to be like two videos, simply for the fact that's a lot of shoes, and I don't want to make a like a 30-minute video. You know what I mean? That's just ridiculous. So I'm gonna break this up into two parts. Uh, yeah. So I like shoes simply for the fact that you know how people collect. Some people collect toy cars. Some people collect. Coke machines or whatever. I simply collect shoes, not because they, to me it's like a story. So I started just getting shoes for like certain time periods. So a lot of my shoes, like I'm a big Nike basketball fan. So like pre-2012, cause after that I feel like they kind of lost it. But like pre-2012 Nike basketball was like my favorite thing. You know what I'm saying? The Kobe 7s, the 9s, and the KD4s. That was when Nike basketball was at its peak. You know what I mean? He never topping that again. After that, they kind of just fell off like now. It's just, man, whatever. You know what I mean? But, oh, yeah. So, like I was saying, shoes for me are about certain moments. Uh, a few of them, yeah, I guess, about how they look. But all of my shoes are more likely. Now, I paid, I probably paid off retail about two shoes in my whole collection. Uh, I'm not that dude that's going to go pay the 100 over just because I want the shoe. No. I'll wait out. Now, hold on, hold on. There's also be no order in this. Um, it's just gonna come out of it, come, you know what I'm saying? So, let's get it. Boom. All right, first shoe we got is a Air Force One. It's not just a regular Air Force One, but it's a, uh, oh, let me see if y'all can get that. It's Air Force One's a 4th of July pack. So they all came with stars on them, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, I forgot what year this was. 2015. So, well, wait, no, this one's 15. This is probably like 17. I don't know why I said 15. But yeah, just basic, you know what I mean? Barely around, but. I had to, I like the star effect on them. So that's shoe number one. Second shoe is the same shoe in a red. I didn't manage to get the blue pair though. So that same shoe I just showed you was a white pair. Red. It was red, white, and blue, 4th of July. It's probably like 2017. I got these for retail, so nice. Next shoe, p Rye SBs, man. These are, I also, I'm also big on SBs, older SBs though. So these are actually from 2009, Paul Rodriguez SBs. I don't know. SB's lost it too. I think Nike as a whole just kind of stopped caring about a lot of stuff. I actually caught me for like, I think it was like 70 a couple years ago. That's from 2009. Great condition still. I don't wear them much, but I just love them. Put the blue lace on them. They came with white. Put the blue suede, the blue laces in them. Call them, you know, my, my Elvis, my Elvis blue suede shoes. That's why I like them. Just a clean pair, man. Also, like, you see the tongue on the newer SB's. Tongue is fat. See, these got that. Black tongue on them. Just love it. Again, we got another SB. The Autumn. I forgot what you call these, but I haven't worn these in a minute either. Nike Zoom Janowski's. They came in uh, a couple different colors. They had a blue cherry blossom. They had an orange. They, they, they had one more color, but these are from probably, these are from 2013. So yeah, I haven't worn these in a while either, but I just like a very clean, unique shoe. You know what I'm saying? Can't go wrong with it. Just love the print on them. Another shoe. We got the Shack Attack uh, Reebok. Now, of course, it's the pump edition. I mean, they only come pump, but Shack Attack pumps. Why I got the shoe? First of all, you got to have some Shacks. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm talking about I get a lot of shoes for the story, not so. Or actually, I actually like these, though. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't like the other Shacks, the Shack Gnosis, but these are a very clean shoe. I like them. Uh, I got this colorway because I obviously colorway grow the most in the pump. Let me see the. This actually works. So if you pump this up, you actually uh feel this gets air pockets in the shoe gets tight on your foot. So yeah. And these KD5 Elites. Y'all probably don't. A lot of people probably don't even know about these for the simple fact that they were very slept on. I like. I had these in three different colors, but I think I sold two of them. But I got these for retail also. I think these was from like 2013 because these are the five model. So yeah. I don't know, it's a very, to me, it's a clean, basic shoe. Like, I don't know if you can. Very clean, basic, you know what I'm saying? I can't go wrong with it. Kate, Kevin there was also my favorite player, so, you know, that factored in too, so. Of Tempo. Now, actually, these were, these are another one of my favorite shoes, so, Pimpin', you know what I mean? But these were actually all white pair. So before they started making these colors, they can't actually came out with this color later, but I actually painted this. And the crazy thing is they painted it, but they made the color exactly how I, they came out with the color exactly how I painted it. 
I don't know if you could tell, but so I actually painted this. Yeah, you see that? But yeah, another clean shoe. I probably only wore these like once. That's the crazy thing. Very, I, I love it just for the simple fact that the letters on it. I mean, it's a pimping. You know what I mean? So, my classic dude. Oh, this was the gum. This was actually the gum uh, colorway. Now I guess we can get more into, you know, my Nike basketball. I guess you would call it the heat, whatever. So these, these are actually Kobe 13. I don't know if y'all knew, but when, uh, when Kobe played his last game, you can go on Nike ID for one hour in the beginning of the game, and you could customize your own Kobe 13. So you could put the other pair. You actually could put, it was the only time you could customize it this way was when he played his last game. So you could put, you could customize exactly what was on the tongue. So me, I put, I forgot what each one of these stood for. They stood for something they told you. I can't really remember, but you could put it in the inside. I put 24 Bryant, but I actually should have put, I actually should have put the date for the game. I think it was like March 16. That's what I should have did, but that's what a lot, that's what they recommended you to put the date, but I don't know why I just put his name, but yeah, this is another pair that, I'm a big Kobe fan, so this is a pair I wouldn't sell. That's uh, I couldn't do that. Uh, Nike Kyrie 4 Taiwans. This shoe actually, I don't, did it come out of the United States? I don't think it did come out of the United States, but I know this pair is actually the pair that released overseas in Taiwan. I just simply, let me say that I said Nike creativity was gone, but they did they they do their thing for Kyrie though. Kyrie's shoes don't lack creativity at all, and that's why I got a couple of them. I don't really care for Kyrie as a player. No, it's not because I like the Celtics and he left. I never liked him before the Celtics. I didn't like him when he was on it, but I do rock with his shoes. So yeah, simply like this pair because it's like I love this design. I also love this. Design. That's the only Kyrie with the tongue like that. And I mean, it's red and it's red suede. I mean, the bottom is not actually white. It's like a pinkish. I don't know if you can tell. They're like a rose. Well, not rose, but pinkish. I just love it. It's a cool design. It's a Taiwan exclusive. So, you know, I had to get that. Next shoe we got pink phones from, let me see. What? 20 what? 20, 2012. Uh, I'm not really a big, I am a big foam guy, but Nike be on that bull with the phones, man. They don't be coming out with like, they come out with some BS colors for the foam. So I got these and they up the price stupid. When I, back when these came out, phones was 20, uh, 220. Now phones be like 260. And I just want on the retro, the, the basic colors, you know what I'm saying? The basic colors. This not a basic color, I don't know what I'm saying that, but I had to get these cause I love it. You know what I mean? I love the way they reflect. And actually I really like pink. My skate setup is pink too. So I had to get them, you know? Boom, another set of Kobe's. Uh, Kobe, I want to say, I want to say 11, Kobe 10, my fault, dang, I get mixed up, my fault, but yeah, Kobe 10, this is actually the Christmas edition, so you can see, uh, you can see the green in there, cool, and I actually love this detail, the back, see they got five championship rings on there, you know, yeah, that's self-explanatory, you know, dang, focus on them rings, but. No, don't focus on me. Yeah, five rings on the back. Cause I mean, obviously, you know, Kobe got five rings. You know, the inside, a little Christmas detail. Had to get this shoe simply Kobe. This is actually the last shoe that Kobe played. Not the last one he played in. I don't think he, the crazy thing is, they didn't have a Christmas day game this year, but they still gave him a Kobe. And you know, I had to get that. So Kobe, my favorite player. This is the last model that he played in. That's why I have so many of these. And this is a Kobe Christmas edition, but he didn't have a Christmas Day game, so that sucks. Boom, another Kobe 10. This is the Kobe 10 opening night. So, opening night of his final season plan. This is the shoe he played in. Self-explanatory why I had to get it. I already told you I'm a big Kobe fan, you know. Tongue has a sweet little graphic on it. I actually don't really know what that means, but yeah. Had to get it clean. And these are, Kobe's are the most comfortable shoes ever, dog. Them, uh, I think it's 11s. I show you the, the Nike ID ones are the most comfortable shoes ever. But all Kobe's are stupid comfortable. Just feel like you're walking on clouds, man. Boom. Like I told y'all about the Kyrie Force, uh, Nike did a thing for him. 
Uh, this is the Kyrie 4 All-Star. So, 2017 All-Star game. Shoot, they gave him. I just love the design, honestly. And these are also another very, very, very comfortable shoe. So, yeah. Boom. Another Kyrie 4. This shoe is crazy. Like, now you might say, why do they got so many colors? And this is, this is probably one of my favorite shoes. Simply because it's not a shoe a lot of people even know exists. It's called the Kyrie 4 Confetti. And it's simply modeled for, uh, I love wild, crazy colors like this, you know what I'm saying? I love the popping in them, you know what I mean? And um, simply because the story is Kyrie when he lost the championship and a piece of confetti actually was stuck on his sock or his shoe or something. He went back to the locker room. So that's why you have so many different colors. But you have so many different like phrases on here. I hope y'all can see that. Like on here, on each upper of the shoe. So you have something like, we will be back. Uh, a lot of decisions you will replay. You saying like you replay a lot of decisions when you lose. Uh, one last ride. Things like that are all on both uppers. Uh, get better, things like that, you know? And I love it. I just love it simply for the colors, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, a lot of people say, what would you wear with this? Anything, duh. Tie-dye shirt, bro, stupid. Another one. Kyrie 4 Black History Month. Simple, I mean, it's common sense why I got this pair. I mean, it's Black History Month. So you got, of course, the bottom, red, black, and green. Uh, equality all over the shoe. You know what I mean? It's common sense with the gold tongue. I love that gold tongue up there. Gold Kyrie logo. Black History Month, you know what I mean? Boom. Another Kobe 10. So this is the Kobe 10 Mom Be Curio. A lot of people didn't know that Kobe was, a, a lot, he liked soccer a lot. And this is literally model after a whole soccer cleat. So this whole color, you could type in Mamba Curio soccer cleat and you will get this whole colorway. So, and I just, like I said, I like pink anyway, and it's very clean. Gray and pink, you can't go wrong with that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Pulling out the LeBrons now and now. now behind Kobe, Kobe's my favorite player and he has some of my favorite shoes, but LeBron, Pre, pre 2012, psh, these nines, nines probably the, nines are definitely hands down the best LeBrons. Uh, they got some crazy dope colorways, and this is one of my favorites. Being all those being so basic, it's called the LeBron Nine Free Gun. I mean, you just can't go wrong with. I don't know, it's just so clean, man. Got the inside. Free Gun is actually a the artist. I think it's an artist, and he like paints this type of stuff, you know. On this side, you can see that. I don't know, but I'm trying to make this too long, but they're beautiful, man. I actually got these on eBay for this one of the steals I'll talk about. Dang. Excuse me, I actually got these for like 110. So, yeah, we got the Kobe Warren Pro Trolls. So, this is the model that Kobe wore in 2006 Western Conference Finals versus the Suns. He actually scored, I think it was like six points, and no, not six points. He, what did he do? He scored a point. I think he inbounded the ball, stole the ball, and scored again, something like that, in like 10 seconds to beat the Suns and knock him out of the playoffs. So it's a classic moment, you know what I'm saying? For Especially for a Kobe fan, you already know. It's common sense I was going to get this. So no doubt about it. Kobe won, baby. Like I said, that's another. That's why I buy a lot of shoes for the history of moments. Behind them. Next, this is a, a lot of people don't even care for Nike basketball. A lot of people remember this shoe, and it's, I mean, why wouldn't you? It's beautiful. This this year's All Star Pack in 2012, <laughs> knock anything out of war. The best All Star Pack, probably the best trio shoes. Like I was saying, 2012 Nike basketball was out of their mind. Galaxy LeBron nines, glow in the dark soul, Galaxy print here, you know, each. I'm only missing the Kobe's out of this pack. And I was actually gonna buy them, but before Kobe died in the helicopter, RIP Kobe, you know what I mean? But uh, everything skyrocketed for his shoes and stuff, so I'm not gonna pay like three, 400, that's just stupid. Like you got the 3M here. You know what I mean? Clean shoe, real bright poppy. This also glows in the dark, glow in the dark, so beautiful. This is another one I got off eBay for less than retail. I think it was around 110 inch one. Cougar 11s. Now, I'm not too big on Jordan simply because it's like everybody's thing. I don't like the 
go out and have the same thing on my feet as everybody else. That's just me, you know what I mean? I hate that. That's why I don't get a lot. That's why I don't get any Jordans when they come out because everybody got them. I don't want them. So, yeah, this is from, what, 2011? Something like that, 2010, I think. Clean still, though, you know what I mean? Bottom still ain't bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what this is. It's just clean. If they retro these, I would, I would be so hurt. I'm so glad they haven't retroed them in like 10, 12 years. Simply, I don't want nobody to have them. I don't care what you say. I don't want you, nobody else to have them on their feet, you know what I mean? Barely, I keep them, keep them clean, you know what I mean? Keep them clean, press them. We got a Jordan 5 Fire Red. This is the 20, 2013 pair. Fives are high, you know what I'm saying? I got these for a steal though, so that's really why I got them. Clean. Mm -hmm. KD6 Aunt Pearl. If you don't know the story behind these, KD actually had an aunt named Pearl that uh, died from breast cancer, so this what this model's made out of it features uh roses all around it breast cancer symbol up there you know and i actually want the kd4 on pearls i'm still looking for those right now and that's the thing about me i don't buy i'm not gonna buy a shoe just because i want it over i'm gonna wait till i can get it for a reasonable price so if i can't get it for a reasonable price i'm not buying it yeah like i said again i love pink and then being that i wanted the kd4 on the pearls that came out in 2012 had to get these when they came out when I think it was like 14 because this is the 6 so you we got the Kobe 7 yin yang they call it snake pool but I call them yin yang very comfortable shoe I love the way they did this everything is literally mix mix match they had these since they came out so this is another 2012 pair I mean what can you say I just love this design I don't know whoever did this should have got a raise because it's beautiful a lot of people are like, do you have two shoes and you just own? No, I don't. I don't have two shoes. It's just one pair. Beautiful. Kobe 8. This top two most comfortable Kobe models. That insole. Shh. Whoa. I'm walking on sunshine. <laughs> That's what this is. I actually got these for like $70 off eBay. So, yeah. I got these. Man, this is, this is a pair from 2013, I think. Yeah, it's 2013. Probably got these in 2014. $70, so come on now. Nike SB Fuzzy Dice. What year did these come out? It's not that old. Oh, 16, dang, came out 2016, yeah. I just love them simply because I like SBs, and this is one of those return to creativity days for me for SB. I feel like they did their thing. It's like all, I guess, what do you call it now? Velour. But yeah, it came out for Christmas. They come with the green laces too. I never put the green laces in them, but I just love that. 